Okay, this is for section C, inventory. And from your home page, you would click the tab up here, back office. And then down here on the left, inventory, click that. And then we want to come over here to the right and click start new. For the inventory name, uh, I'm going to write uh, inventory test. Now for the call numbers, you can put in a range. I'm going to work on the audio um, fiction, some books on CDs. So I would type in AUD space F I C space A N D. That would be my first one. My next one is A U D F I C C A B. Here you could click circulation types. Non circulating ebooks are regular, are the only two choices here. We'll just click them both and click OK. Um, all copies meeting the above criteria will be set to unaccounted for, except for copies that have been seen on or after today's date. So we're going to click OK. And then ask you, are you sure you want to start this inventory? You should click yes at this point. Now, what you would do is go through your collection and account for them by you could either enter the call number here or you could scan the barcode into the system and that beep is really loud in my ear I turn that down so and my media specialist has a dolphin it's called a dolphin and she can use it to remotely scan things and then download the file into her computer and if you were going to do that then you would click browse and you would browse for that file on the computer and upload all the information that she had scanned okay now let's see now it shows over here 100% complete. So everything that I was looking at should be accounted for. Okay, up here it says 100% complete. So that means we've checked and accounted for everything that we were looking for. Um, and click refresh just to make sure. And then we're going to hit finalize. And yes, we're sure we want to finalize it. So now we're going to go to reports, library reports, report manager, completed library inventory report. We're going to view it. Click view report. and it counted for all 60. Okay. Let's go back here. And so that's how you do an inventory report.